No visit to Rome is complete without a stop at Rome's most spectacular fountain, the Trevi Fountain. The fountain takes its name from its location. This was once the intersection of three roads, or Tre Vie. And the fountain, the way you see it today, was actually designed and constructed in the middle of the 18th century by a sculptor named Niccolo Salvi, who essentially used this travertine stone to create this impression almost of a sort of subterranean glacier popping up out of the ground and decorating with all of these extraordinary statues through which, of course, runs the fountain's most important component, and that is the water. This is a living statue. And at the center of the fountain, you see that male figure who represents the source of all water, that is Oceanus. And to his right, that female figure holding the cornucopia represents abundance of water is a true sign of civilization. To the left of Oceanus is instead wisdom, because water should in fact be taken care of because of course it is our prime source of life. And then from the base of Oceanus, we see that water emerge and then snake its way through the different parts and components of the fountain until making its way down to that basin that you see there below. The fountain has always been celebrated but in the 20th century became part of our collective Western consciousness when it, of course, uh, featured in movies such as Three Coins in a Fountain or in, of course, the celebrated Fellini masterpiece, La Dolce Vita, and that iconic scene of Marcello Mastroianni and Anita Ekberg standing in one of the most romantic architectural settings in history.